Howdy, Tinker Nerds. Facts about Gigafy. Hmm. This ought to be interesting. Favorite berry? Raspberry. Favorite kind of cake? Pie. Favorite number? 3.14. All those are true, but how about some real facts about Gigafied? I got my first computer at the age of six. I have two brothers and three sisters. I've dabbled in the art of clowning. When I was in high school, I raised and sold cattle. And I don't really like seafood. Are you recording with your camera's built-in mic? Your voice is kind of echoey. I was using the same mic and camera, but I had to stand a lot further away because I was using a fixed zoom lens. So I had to talk a bit louder. Totally the best way to live stream. One question though, what are your live streams gonna be about? Well, my old live streams back in the day consisted primarily of me chatting with people on the old IRC chat channel that I also used to have. But that as well died a while back. If I did start doing live streams again, I was thinking that this comment show would be a great contender for the platform. But I'm still deciding on whether I'm gonna use YouTube or Twitch for live stream or if I'm gonna do it at all. Anyway, if you love or hate that idea, here's a poll where you can tell me which one you prefer. Great idea. I would just add an option to stream to twitch.tv. It should be possible. YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook all have Python compatible APIs that should work on the Raspberry Pi. Sorry for interrupting in the middle of the comment show. That's fine. What was your question? I use OBS and an IP cam for streaming to YouTube. OBS, not to be confused with IBS, is an awesome piece of software that anybody that streams from their computer or game console should be using. It can do overlays, picture in picture, green screen, the list goes on. So if I were to start live streaming again, this is definitely a piece of software that I will be using. Many of you may have seen the live stream that popped up on my channel last Wednesday. That was me just testing out to see if I could live stream from my Raspberry Pi to YouTube. And as the results suggested, it was successful. Just to be clear, I did attempt to do this in private mode, but I wasn't getting the same results. But right when I flipped the switch to go live, it started working. For anyone that was curious, the video that I was playing is called Big Buck Bunny by the Blender Foundation and the entire movie was made with the Blender open source 3D software. But back to the live streaming part of this, I'll show you guys how to live stream from your Raspberry Pi in my next tutorial. So until then, thanks so much for all the comments and I'll see you guys next week.